This Friday is set to be a game changer for millions of Americans receiving Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, or Veterans Affairs, VA, benefits. Why? Because the IRS is gearing up to send out substantial $2,000 stimulus checks to eligible beneficiaries. In our video, we're diving into the details of this exciting development. Who exactly qualifies for these payments? Well, if you're currently receiving any of the aforementioned benefits, chances are you're in line to receive this financial boost. But when can you expect these much-needed funds to land in your mailbox or bank account? That's a question on everyone's mind, and we're here to provide clarity. We'll outline the expected timeline for the distribution of these stimulus checks, ensuring you're well prepared for their arrival. Moreover, we'll shed light on the significance of these stimulus checks. For many individuals and families, especially those facing financial hardship, these payments represent a lifeline and means to cover essential expenses and weather economic challenges. We'll explore how this injection of funds can make a tangible difference in the lives of those who rely on these benefits for their day-to-day -day needs. If you're on Social Security, disability benefits, or receive payments from the Department of Veterans Affairs, listen up. The Internal Revenue Service is sending out a new wave of $2,000 stimulus checks this Friday to millions of Americans on fixed incomes. But there's an important catch that many people may not be aware of yet regarding these payments. The $2,000 direct payments are part of the Biden administration's $1.90 trillion American Rescue Plan that was signed into law back in March 2021. It authorized not only the $1,400 third-round stimulus checks that went out to most Americans, but also this wave of supplemental plus-up payments for federal beneficiaries who didn't receive their fair share based on their annual income. According to senior officials at the Treasury Department, approximately 30 million Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA beneficiaries are expected to receive one of these $2,000 checks over the coming weeks. The first large batch will be dispersed electronically and by mail this Friday, June 3 Road. This is long-awaited relief for some of the most vulnerable segments of our population, said Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. Many beneficiaries saw their already modest incomes severely impacted by the pandemic through no fault of their own. These plus-up payments will provide them a critical financial lifeline. Here's a look at who qualifies for one of the $2,000 payments based on income thresholds, individual tax filers with adjusted gross incomes, AGIs, up to $75,000 will receive the full $2,000 payment. Married couples filing jointly with AGIs up to $150,000 will receive $2,000 each, for a total of $4,000 per household. Those with dependents may also receive additional funds, with $500 tacked on per qualifying dependent child under age 17. The payments begin phasing out above those AGI thresholds, with taxpayers earning above $80,000 individually or $160,000 as a married couple receiving nothing. Senior citizens on fixed incomes like Social Security overwhelmingly fall into the full payment eligibility. Now, here's the important caveat to be aware of these $2,000 checks from the IRS are actually an advanced payment of what's known as the Earned Income Tax Credit, EITC. The EITC is an anti-poverty program that provides tax credits to low- to moderate-income workers, with the goal of incentivizing and supplementing earnings from jobs. But due to the economic disruption caused by COVID-19, millions of beneficiaries saw their incomes plummet compared to previous years when they may have been working. This entitled them to a larger EITC payment than what they already received based on the IRS calculating their 2020 taxes. As a result, the IRS is now sending out these supplemental plus-up payments to square up and ensure all federal beneficiaries receive their maximum EITC amount based on their lower 2020 incomes. For most, that equals a $2,000 boost, though amounts can vary. ITS crucial to understand that these aren't technically new stimulus checks, rather, they are advance payments of tax credits you may be owed based on your most recent filings. You'll need to reconcile these payments when you file your 2023 tax return next year. The key thing is that these plus-up payments are not free money, explains Kyle Pomerlo, a federal tax expert at the American Enterprise Institute. 
They are advance credits that you'll have to pay back if your actual 2023 income ends up being higher than expected. So if your financial situation improves and your 2023 income exceeds the EITC limits, you may need to pay back some or all of the $2,000 payment you received this week. On the flip side, if your 2023 income entitles you to an even larger EITC amount, you could receive another plus-up payment next year. There's also an important distinction in how these payments are being disbursed compared to previous stimulus checks. While those stimulus payments went out to all eligible Americans simultaneously, the $2,000 plus up payments are being issued on a rolling basis by the IRS. The very first batch is going out this Friday to federal beneficiaries whom the IRS deems among the most likely to be owed additional EITC credits. But it could take several more weeks until all potential recipients have received their plus-up payments, as the IRS processes various data returns related to income, dependents, and more. Administration officials expect the payments to continue being disbursed in multiple tranches over the coming five weeks. And they're urging all federal beneficiaries to file their 2022 tax returns as soon as possible in order to ensure they receive their maximum EITC amount. While we're working on delivering this money out to taxpayers automatically, filing a tax return remains the most important step for ensuring you receive every dollar you're owed, said IRS Commissioner Danny Werfel. People deserve every penny they qualify for under these programs. About two-thirds of the expected recipients are projected to be senior citizens on Social Security retirement benefits or supplemental SSI income, according to analysis by the Senior Citizens League. That equates to around 20 million payments to older Americans from the IRS over the next month or so. The remainder will be dispersed among disabled Americans receiving SSDI benefits and low-income veterans receiving VA compensation, pensions, survivor payouts, and more. Most are on extremely fixed incomes below $40,000 annually. For Sandy Rollins, 72, of Tulsa, Oklahoma, the extra $2,000 coming her way is well-timed and much needed. The former nurse's aide has seen her modest $1,560 monthly social security payment get stretched thin by rising costs. It's been brutal just trying to keep up with prices for food, gas, utilities, and prescriptions over the past couple of years, says Rollins. I'm really counting on this $2,000 to help cover expenses from some upcoming medical treatments that Medicare isn't picking up. Otherwise, I'm not sure how I'd manage. Americans with higher incomes likely won't qualify for the $2,000 payments at all, however. The income phase outs of $80,000 for individuals and $160,000 for married couples remain consistent with previous stimulus check eligibility limits. Some may receive partial payments if they fall within the EITC phase out range. But high earners solidly above those thresholds won't see a dime. That reality has fueled criticism from congressional Republicans, who argue the administration should have prioritized getting excess funding only to the neediest individuals and families impacted by the pandemic economy. Once again, the Biden administration is using the pandemic as an excuse to send out unfocused checks that many households earning solid middle-class salaries will receive, said Rep. Kevin Brady, RTX, a senior member of the House Ways and Means Committee. Instead of laser targeting those in genuine financial hardship, they're sending bonus checks to couples making up to $160,000 per year. Brady and other fiscal hawks have amplified concerns that injecting more stimulus into the economy at a time when inflation remains stubbornly high could worsen price pressures and distort the economy's path back to normalcy. But the counter-argument from the White House and many economists is that the plus-up payments amount to a drop in the proverbial bucket and won't significantly impact inflation or the broader recovery. In fact, by targeting low-income Americans, the payments could provide a higher bang for the buck in driving economic activity. These plus-up payments are relatively modest compared to the trillions in stimulus that fueled inflation over the past two years, says Wendy Edelberg director of the Hamilton Project and a senior economics fellow at Brookings. And because they're targeted to lower-income households likely to spend it immediately, they'll provide a timely boost to consumer spending and economic growth. For the tens of millions of federal beneficiaries receiving the plus-up payments over the coming weeks, the extra money could significantly impact their family finances and quality of life, especially for those on fixed incomes who have borne the brunt of lingering inflation in essential expenses.
No question, this payment is fantastic news. For someone like me living solely off of a $1,300 monthly disability check, an extra $2,000 is tremendously meaningful, says John Gaspard, 51, of New Orleans. Just having that financial cushion to pay off some bills and put a little aside takes so much stress off my shoulders. According to AARP research, older Americans on fixed incomes have been disproportionately squeezed by inflation over the past two years, with consumer prices for housing, food, and medical care climbing much faster than the modest cost of living adjustments to social.